We stand here at Overall, Virginia, which is the site of the Milford Battlefield, which was a Civil War battle fought on September 22, 1864. While, in, while seemingly insignificant, this battle highlights the theme of the Civil War as well as the situation facing the Union and Confederate armies in 1864. According to Brooks D. Simpson, the Civil War up to this point had been largely one of stalemate. While each side had claimed major victories at places such as Manassas, Chancellorsville, Antietam, and Gettysburg, neither side had achieved the knockout blow. The battle in which the victorious army was able to track down the army facing defeat and capture them. After each decisive victory, the army facing defeat was able to slip away, reorganize, and prepare for another contest. The Battle of Milford is such an example. While this battle also highlights the theme of the Civil War in general, it also highlights what was going on in 1864. In 1864, the Civil War enters its new and final phase with the appointment of Grant as the commander of the Union forces. This year features a year in which Grant the Butcher, or the Bludgeoner, and Lee the Master of Maneuver become the Butcher and the Fox as Grant wages a war of attrition to bring the war to its eventual close. Thus, the Civil War has entered a period in which it's not really a matter of strategy, it's more a matter of time. The Battle of Milford exemplifies this as the Army of Northern Virginia is able to fight long enough to stall the Union Army's advance, thus showing that the noose is beginning to tighten around the Confederate Army. And as we can see, in seven short months, the war comes to its eventual close at Appomattox.